Hey guys, this is Tia Matt Ruler back with another uh, random Wonder Trades. I almost said Wonder Cup battle. Uh, this is obviously not a Wonder Cup battle. This is a random Wonder Trades episode. Um, and yes, we are still trading off Beldums. Um, because I still have not found my shiny Beldum yet. Um, I believe this is actually, at this point, my longest chain of eggs for hatching a shiny before that I haven't found a shiny yet. Because um, I have like four boxes that... Uh, at the end of my, uh, this is Odin from Ontario looking for 5 IV ditto. Well, I have a 6 IV ditto, but it's the only one I have and I'm keeping that. So I use that for breeding <laughs> like I'm doing right now. Well, not right now, but like I'm doing with these Beldums. Um, and we get, speaking of ditto, <laughs> that's kind of uh, funky. Um, but anyways, um, I have four boxes at the end of my boxes that are completely empty. Usually that I like fill up with the beldums as i hatch them and then i wonder trade them all off obviously out here you'll see me like wonder trade a few here and there for uh the wonder trades episode random wonder trades episodes but that is not all the time i want to trade. i wonder trade a lot more than that um just so you guys know i guess but uh oops we like to go in order here um but uh but 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 uh, what was i saying yeah we have four boxes at the end for trading those and i filled those up at least a few times by now at least three times probably four um, which means it's been like 300 400 times for our, our eggs hatched um what to battle says chris from texas not really because i'm random wonder trading i'm recording this so i don't want to battle um but the thing with beldums though is that they seem to take forever to hatch we get a cool air on here Aaron's cool i like Aaron. um could would be cool with the shiny red eyes um, I think that's the shiny, right? Is the red eyes? I don't even remember anymore. I'm pretty sure the red eyes are the shiny. I don't think I would have gotten a blue eyed or a shiny Aeron, but if I did, that'd be cool. But I doubt it. I don't remember things like that. If it's just the eyes that are the noticeable difference. Um, except that I do remember that. Yeah, that's not shiny. Um, that, uh, uh, Lunatone has blue eyes, but, um, and wouldn't shiny instead of red, but anyways, um, yeah, Beldum seems to take, like, forever to hatch, like, when I use, looking for events, says Michael from Tennessee, anyways, um, because, uh, like, when I use my hat level three hatching power, I can, I usually tend to only hatch two of them through that. Sometimes I get three if I'm lucky, but usually it's two when we, as we get a pan sham here. Um, usually I only get two in a level three uh, hatching power, which is kind of weird because, I mean, they just must take forever to hatch because uh, they must need a lot of steps because, uh, like, even the starters, I would get, like, four at the least, usually sometimes, often five, all five of them hatched. So, I don't know what's going on with the Beldums just must take forever to hatch. They must just have a high step count for hatching. But, uh, so it gets kind of exhausting because of how long it takes. Like, it takes me for to hatch five uh, Beldums, the whole process of getting the eggs and then riding around and getting more eggs and then hatching them. It takes me, like, ten minutes to hatch five, five Beldum eggs. Uh, so, it gets kind of exhausting sometimes. Um... But I, I, I'm still doing it because I don't give up on it. Sup, peeps? Asks Mark from Scotland. Not much. We are random wonder trading for a wonder cup battle. Um, so hopefully you will give us something good, Mark. Because I will love you forever if you give us some sexy shiny or some... Oh, uh, we get a Bulbasaur. Okay, okay, Bulbasaur. Could be good, could be bad. Probably just has tackle. Probably just a bred one that has tackle. But you never know. It's named Audrey 2. That is hilarious. I love that nickname. I love you anyways, even if that Bulbasaur sucks. I want to keep that Bulbasaur. Oh my god, Audrey too. That is hilarious. Um, if you don't know what that's from, that's from Little Shop of Horrors. And I remember that very, very specifically just because my brother did a play of Little Shop of Horrors in high school. And so I have that, I mean, we watched the movie, we watched every, I mean, to prepare him for it, everything, and it was, I mean, it's, it's a pretty funny, 
funny movie. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of a funny horror type story. Uh, Ash from Indiana, let's trade. That's what we're doing, buddy. Give me something good. That would be awesome if you gave me something amazing. But Audrey 2 is from that. Um, as we get a Bronzong, which is pretty interesting. Never gotten a Bronzong on Wonder Trade before. Um, I don't know how good Bronzong is, but I'm pretty sure Bronzong is a pretty good wall. Um, but, yeah. Oh, I guess I'll have to find out. Because <laughs> I've never used Bronzong before. Um, never even used a Bronzor, but... I've always thought, like, Bronzor and Bronzong are kind of weird because they don't look like they evolve from each other. Really, in my opinion, they don't. I could be the only one, I guess, but they really don't look like they belong in the same evolutionary chain. But, um, yeah. And if you guys haven't seen on Twitter, I did stub my toe today, or not today, last night, on the metal frame of my bed, and it still hurts. Like, it's been a day since I stubbed it, and it still fucking hurts. Like, seriously. Fuck. Blazikinit420 says Matthew from Florida. Okay, that's pretty funny too. Blazikinit420. That's that's pretty funny. Um, as we get a Lapras. Okay. Lapras is nice. I have already had a Lapras in my Wonder Cup battles before, but I'm not going to complain, complain about Lapras. Lapras is pretty bulky, and it's it's just nice. It's named Lapal. I don't know why, but uh, whatever. Um... Lapras, I like Lapras. Lapras is cool. I love Lapras. Um, it's pretty far up there in my favorite Pokemon list. I don't know exactly where it would fall. I don't I like have a list in front of me. I don't like make a list of what order my favorite Pokemon would go in. But um, the only one I know is my first and second. So, but we're gonna look at our team here. We got a two IV Ditto with a uh, mild limber, but it does have the Quick Powder on it. I don't even know what Quick Powder does to be honest. I just know it's something to put on an item to use with Ditto. I don't even know what Quick Powder does though. But it is unfortunately not a uh, the one that comes in and transforms automatically. So that's unfortunate. Um, and then we do get a 5 IV air on with Impish. It's Impish with Sturdy. Sturdy's always nice. Harden, Endeavor, Stealth Rock, and Head Smash. Um, that Stealth Rock, though, Stealth Rock is awesome. And entry hazards in a Wonder Cup battle are amazing. So I'm not comp I'm not gonna be mad about that. And then the Endeavor, man, sturdy and Endeavor, damn. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, Pancham, Bashful, Iron Fist, um, Tackle, Leer, Arm Thrust. It doesn't have any punching moves. Um, I don't know if Ar Iron or Arm Thrust counts for Iron Fist. I wouldn't think so though. But uh, that's not terrible, I guess. Uh, and then we get a Five IV Bulbasaur. Relaxed Chlorophyll, Tackle, Giga Drain, Power Whip. Whoa, man, Audrey 2, I'm keeping you. Um, that is a better Bulbasaur than most I've seen on the Wonder Trades. So. And then Bronzong, obviously, is a Gentle Levitate, uh, Iron Defense, Faint Attack, Safeguard, and Future Sight. I, like I said, I don't know how good Bronzong is. I know it's pretty bulky. Uh, look at that Special Defense, 91. Damn. Um, it is level 30, so it is a friend safari Pokemon, but still, that's cool. It's a fully evolved Pokemon. Better than some people get. And then, uh, we got Lapras here with Docile, Water Absorb. That's really nice. Um, Water Pulse, Body Slam, Rain Dance, and Parish Song. Pretty much the basic set. Probably off the friend safari or the one you get from that one guy. I don't remember. But, uh, we're gonna go ahead and trade the Ditto here because, I. Uh, I mean, ditto without, um, I can't think of the freaking ability that it, that it's called, like, imposter? I think it's imposter, the, uh, where it comes in and transforms automatically. Um, yeah, I mean, because I don't want to waste a move transforming. Meloetta, please, says Lucas from Kentucky. Well, you're getting a ditto with quick powder. <laughs> Still don't know what quick powder does on ditto, but whatever. Um... And we get a Doug Trio. Nice. Two fully evolved Pokemon. That's not bad. And while well, technically Lapras is fully evolved too, and Bulbasaur is not bad at all. Bulbasaur is really decent. It's a lot better than most Bulbasaur's because most Bulbasaur's just have Tackle. Big fan of Audrey too. 
Love the name. Love the Bulbasaur in general that you gave me. Um, that's an awesome Bulbasaur. But we're going to go ahead and go into the uh, PC here and take a look at our Pokemon. Um, take a look at this Doug Trio here. Um, and it's got Bulldoze, Sucker Punch, Sand Tomb, and Mud Bomb. And it does have Arena Trap. So if it's a Pokemon weak against ground types, screwed. You can't leave. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I'm not too upset about that. Sucker Punch is a really nice move too. So if it's even if it's something like weak against, if it's like a psychic type, um, I mean, its special defense is pretty good. So um, if it's something that's weak against psychic type, or if it's like a psychic type weak against dark, or a ghost type weak against dark, block them in. They can't leave and just keep sucker punching them. Eventually, they gotta attack. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with our team. I mean, we got. Two fully evolved Pokemon. Two fully evolved Pokemon. Technically three because of Lapras. And Lapras is just amazing to begin with. And then we got two 5 IV Pokemon. With decent moves. And then we got the entry hazards, obviously. With the Stealth Rock. I'm a fan of this team right here. And then, of course, we got Pancham. Pancham is probably going to be the underdog of our party. Um, but you never know. He could come through. I doubt it, though, with that move set but damn i am i am uh, happy with this team to be honest i am pretty happy with this team so uh yeah if you want to uh be a part of a wonder cup battle go ahead and leave your friend code your in-game name and a way to contact you whether it's twitter or if you don't have a twitter just let me tell me to tell me that and let me know to contact you through youtube but if it's that that's the case make sure i can reply to you because if I can't reply to you, it's going to be really hard to try and get a hold of you. Um, a lot harder than if I can just reply to you. Um, it's just going to be a lot more hassle. Um, so, yeah, leave those down in the comments. And then if you like the video, leave a like. And if you're a first-time viewer, please subscribe. This is Team Matt Rulers signing out. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Peace!